Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank my honourable colleague from Mississauga. I've touched on a few other aspects of C-75, and I certainly agree with my honourable colleague that doing more to deal with inter intimate partner violence is critical. But I, I'm troubled that this bill is eliminating preliminary inquiries. Now, preliminary inquiries are typically a time that the defence gets to test the evidence as something of a dry, dry, uh, dry run, a dress rehearsal for what's going to come at trial, and it allows the defence to properly prepare, and it even leads to uh, deciding that not to proceed to trial because the evidence is too weak. I, I don't understand the rationale for eliminating preliminary inquiries, all for efficiency. It's trampling the rights of the accused, who may be innocent, in the interest of efficiency. At least that's how I see it right now standing here tonight. So I, I'd, I'd love to know what the defense and rationale is for getting rid of preliminary inquiries. The Honourable Member for Mississauga Streetsville. I'd like to thank my colleague for the question. Uh, as stated earlier, um, getting rid of preliminary uh, inquiries not only makes the, the system more efficient, it also helps to serve the victims because we've seen through speaking with stakeholders that when we have preliminary inquiries, we actually subject victims to being re-victimized and that's certainly something we don't want and so there's two benefits really right there is one to have it be more efficient but also it's more compassionate because we don't have victims re-victimized.